I bet that when you scroll through the list of skills or the weapon table, when you notice a lasso, you go, ah, yes, the lasso, I forgot that it even exists. And I do not blame you, it is a very forgettable weapon. Let's see what it is all about and how it can be used. First of all, lasso is an average difficulty dexterity based skill that has no default. If you look at the weapon table in GURPS Lowtech, you'll find that this skill is only used with a single weapon, the Lariat. The entry doesn't even give us much information, everything is special, special, special. But uh, we can see that it is quite cheap, not heavy, not bulky, and has a low strength requirement. Also, it appears on TL1, well before Cowboys became a thing. The actual rules for using a Lariat can be found on page 411 of GURPS basic set. A Lariat is treated as a thrown weapon that can be aimed at any body part. The only valid active defenses are dodge and parry, the target cannot block. A successful parry with a cutting weapon damages the Lariat, but any failed parry means that the parrying arm is ensnared. If you hit the torso or arm, you must take ready maneuvers on subsequent turns to keep the target snared. Roll a quick contest of strength on your turn. If you win, you immobilize the opponent, but if you lose, he pulls the lariat from your hands. If you hit the neck, the same rules are used, but the victim is at minus 5 to his quick contest to resist. If you win, the lariat cuts off the victim's breathing. Use the rules for suffocation on page 436 of basic set. If you hit the foot, the victim must roll against dexterity or fall instead of rolling the usual quick contest of strength. If he was running, the roll is at minus 4. If he fails, he takes damage, and if he fails while running, he takes even more damage. After that, the same rules are used for entangling. One special rule is that you can train your horse to keep the lasso taut and use its strength instead of yours in these quick contests, and horses are much stronger than normal people. You can escape from a taut lariat by cutting the rope. To escape from a limp lariat, you must have a free hand and must take three successful dexterity rolls. Each attempt is a ready maneuver. Animals roll at minus 3 or minus 6 if they have hooves. If you miss with a lariat, readying it again takes time. One turn per 5 yards. The typical lariat is 10 yards long. This means that every yard of lariat weighs 0.3 pounds and costs 4 dollars. Does anything look strange to you? What does immobilize mean in this context? The precise game effects are not stated. Douglas Cole on the SJ Games forums suggests treating lasso as something of a ranged grapple. Once you spend an attack achieving say thing, then you can do grapply actions after that despite not being in close combat. It does require GM adjudication or the application of some common sense. Yes, you can drag someone around or yank them off their feet. No, you can't push on the rope. Yes, you can strangle someone, but no, you probably can't do funky joint lock thing. Yes, the foe can also yank on you. Precise mechanics aside, treating the tools as grapple at a distance helps me resolve the what works and what doesn't stuff. If you look through some other books, you can find some bits and pieces about lariats. For example, Girls Martial Arts Technical Grappling, aside from providing rules for using lasso with technical grappling, mentions that despite Lariat being a ranged grapple attempt, when throwing the Lariat you use striking hit location penalties, not grappling hit location penalties. Also, some possible follow-ups to successful grapple attempts are listed. Everything that defaults to strength, shoving people around, range arm, neck snap, but no chokehold or arm lock. If you carefully read GURPS low tech, you might notice that there is a weapon that exists in the text under the Sode Garamir entry, but doesn't exist in the weapon table, the Urga or Mongolian pole lasso. 
The description states that this is a pole with a rope loop at one end. It is used like a pole arm, but can entangle like a lasso. The Urga has reached 2 3, costs $40 and weighs 6 pounds. But pole arm? So the Garami is a weapon that uses a staff skill, not pole arm. So I assume that the rest of the stat line is identical to Soda Garami, without the sharpened hook, and that Urga actually uses a staff skill, not pole arm. Since this is a melee weapon, it doesn't use the lasso skill to hit, but uses the same rules. The number of available follow-up moves probably is higher, because you have a rigid staff attached to the rope loop, not a limp rope. And that's it for this video. Have you ever seen a lariat being used in GURPS? Have you even wanted to try it out? I can see that it can be an interesting weapon, but only if you are not fighting alone. The downside is that you have to memorize a lot of special rules to use this weapon properly. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.